Guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend. We will together rasterize a shapefile or turn a polygon shapefile into a gridded version as well as snap or align this to an existing raster file. We will do this using ArcMap and we will do this for the example of a single country. Uh, so to begin, let us look for shapefiles for different countries. Let us search for admin zero shapefile, S-H-A-P-E-F-I-L-E. -E. Again, we're just doing this for the example shapefile of a country, but this will work for any shapefile. We're looking for world administrative boundaries, countries and territories, open data soft. Let us go to export. We scroll down to shapefile whole data set, geographic file formats. It's finished uh, the right arrow, show in folder, right click, extract all, extract. Great. Let us now open ArcMap. This can be done also with QGIS or ArcGIS Pro. I just hit cancel. All right, let us drag in our shape file. For this example, let us select the country of Saudi Arabia. So clicking on select features, I highlight Saudi Arabia, <clears throat> opening up table of contents, right click on world administrative boundaries, <clears throat> uh, data, um, no, selection, create layer from selected features. Perfect. I will deselect world administrative boundaries and we see we now have a shape file for Saudi Arabia. Let us now include the raster file that we will have the same resolution for our rasterized version of this shape file. For this example, we'll be using 30 arc minutes, around 50 kilometers by 50 kilometers. Again, any raster resolution will be fine. Um, and we also want to snap or align this shape file, the rasterized version of the shape file to this raster file. We will use a C1M input at 30 arc minute. So I will go to um, C, uh, GitHub, see what I'm input, uh, see what Earth 30 minutes, and almost any of these files will be fine, but let's go to routing and let's choose cell area. So let me drag in cell area. Great, now we see the shapefile of Saudi Arabia on top of a rasterized, or a, a raster file uh, showing the cell area of each cell. Let us search for here, just raster, and we're looking for the two raster tool set. <clears throat> and then polygon to raster. Uh, let us do something first. I want the rasterized version of this shapefile to hold a one everywhere, the value of one everywhere. Let's open up the table of contents and on world administrative boundary selection, right click and go open attribute table. I'm going to add a field and we can call it, let's just call it label as a short integer is fine. We see label here. Now I will editor, start editing. I will highlight label and change this value to one. Great. I will now stop editing, editor, stop editing, save edits, and close out of this. Now let's go to the step we were at just before, uh, search to raster, we're looking for polygon to raster. Input features, okay. Input feature is going to be our shape file of Saudi Arabia, world administrative boundaries selection. The value ID is going to be what we just created, label. This is fine, this is fine. The cell size, we're going to drag in uh, the raster template that we're using. 
So back to table of contents. I'm going to drag in the cell area 30 minute. In this case, it's going to be a 0 0.5 degrees, but we can leave it like this. Now important, let's go to environments. Let's go to output coordinates. We're going to choose the output coordinate system to be the same as our, again, the example raster we're wanting to have as our example or template. And we see here we have the coordinate system GCS, WGS, 1984. Scroll down slightly. We're going to choose processing extent. And we're going to go to snap raster. And we're going to snap again to our example raster, cell area 30 minute. Let's go OK. OK. Perfect. Let's unselect World Administrative Boundary Selection to see a rasterized version of Saudi Arabia on top of our example raster map. And if we zoom in, we see that the pixels of Saudi Arabia are exactly aligned with the pixel of our underlying raster. Now to use this for C1M input as a mask map or the domain of our model, let us right click on, world, on our created raster, in this case, World Administrative Boundary 1. Go to Data to Export Data. Uh, simply give it a name. Um, we're going to export this as a TIFF. Let's call it Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia underscore 30 Arkmin. For this raster would look different at different resolutions and also uh, different projections. Uh, we save. Would you like to add the exported data to the map as a layer? Not necessarily. Great. Uh, we can now use this exported TIFF as a mask map in C1M. That's all for now. Uh, schönen Morgen, schönen Tag, schönen Abend, gute Nacht.